Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Lifting the eyes while reciting Kedusha and a very practical way of how to hasten Hashem to bring the Gula. We find brought in the Shulchan Aruch in chapter 125 in the Ramah, recorded also the Halacha in the Shulchan Aruch of the Al Rebbe in 125 Halacha 3, that it's customary to lift one's eyes upwards towards heaven upon reciting the words Kadesh, Kadesh, Kadesh during the Kedusha of Chazar Sashat. Besides for our known minog of lifting our feet upwards, we also lift our eyes towards heaven. The al continues and rules based on the Taz that it's proper for the eyes to be closed while they are raised. Many places can rule in this manner that you're supposed to lift your eyes during Kaddish Kaddish and the eyes are supposed to be closed, but you do have other opinions in Paiskim with some saying you should only lift them for the first word of Kaddish, not all the words. Others saying you should only lift it for Nakdishach, while when you say Kaddish Kaddish, your eyes should be downwards. And this is practically the Sephardi custom that they place the eyes downwards upon reciting Kaddish, not upwards. Likewise, some places can rule that the eyes are meant to be open and not closed. Practically, the ruling of the Arizal is that the eyes are to be closed, as brought in many Paiskim. And that is the final ruling of the al Rebbe, that we lift it upwards throughout all three words of Kaddish, 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 and the eyes are meant to be closed while we are raising them up. What's the meaning behind this custom? So we find a very, very interesting explanation behind this custom that really places light onto this minhag, that it's not just another minhag, but it's a minhag that has fundamental meaning and effect in the hastening of our redemption. The Taz, and it's recorded in the Alter Rebbe there in the Halacha, states that the source for this custom is based on a passage in, a, in the Sefer Heichalis. What is the Sefer Heichalis? The Sefer Heichalis is a generic name for the, the journals that were written by the sages that entered into the spiritual world called Pardes. We're all familiar with the idea that four sages entered into Pardes, one entered Bishalim, one left Bishalim, etc. So we're aware of the idea that there were Chachamim in the times of the Tanaim that entered into the spiritual worlds. A number of these sages jotted down what they heard and what they saw in those spiritual worlds. Amongst them being Rabbi Yishmael Kain Gadol, Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Nechunya ben Akane, Rabbi Nasan, and others mentioned in the Sefer Heichalis. One of the Svarim that we have available to us is the Sefer Heichalis, Rabbi Shmuel, Shmishmal ben Elisha Kain Gadol, that he jotted 30 chapters worth of sightings. So the Paiskim we bring that in one of these Sefer Heichalis it says as follows. Hashem said to these sages, Blessed are you to me, to Hashem, those that descend on the divine chariots, which refers to these sages, that they enter into the Merkava, into Pardes, that if you will say and relate to my children that which I do at the time, that they sanctify and say, Kaddish, 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 if you relate to them what I do during that time, you will be blessed. What do I do? Teach them that at this time, their eyes are to be raised to the heavens, to their prayer houses, and they should lift themselves above. There is no pleasure in the world like that moment when their eyes are raised within my eyes, and my eyes with their eyes when our eyes connect with each other. And at that moment I grasp my holy chair, my Kisei HaKavid, which contains a resemblance of Yaakov Avinu, and I hug it and kiss it, and remember their exile and quicken their redemption. Thus we find that the lifting of the eyes towards heaven while saying Kaddish is a unique bonding that we perform with Hashem, to such a point that Hashem states that there's no greater pleasure in the world than those moments. It's like the loving eyes that a child, a toddler, raises towards his father who meets him with those eyes and seeing his sad, sad state, he's overcome with emotion and mercy towards his son. 